Hello, friends. Welcome into another new episode. This is Bamo Gifty, your crypto master. Please, if you are new to my YouTube channel, like and subscribe to get the most valuable and accurate crypto information in the entire space. Make sure you click and tell Oga YouTube, hey man, I am clicking on Crypto Master channel right now to get all the notification on what he has been doing or what he will be doing because if you are not relevant in the entire crypto space trust you me you are missing out in real time so make sure you like and you subscribe to my youtube channel and not only that you also click on the notification button now let us go in today's deal yesterday and day before yesterday i taught you guys how to create an account in the entire crypto space how to fund it how to buy how to sell how to use some other products like futures margin how to set up your leverage trading and all the stuff so in today's video we are going to be uh, using peer-to-peer -peer. now what is peer-to-peer -peer trading you guys need to know that peer-to-peer -peer is all about you buying cryptocurrency from a third party without you having to worry yourself about trying to go to the bank or trying to search for someone online so there is already a third party platform built for you then you just connect with someone to buy the tokens or to buy your coins or to sell your uh, to sell your coins so we are all going to see it here what do you do in the first thing let me share my screen with you the very first thing you need to do is to open your Binance. I don't need to explain what Binance is all about because I consider you already know it. This is the largest trading platform in the whole world. So you can buy and sell cryptocurrency here without having to contact anyone. So all you just need to do is to create an account. If you have not yet created an account, make sure you check in the description space below under your YouTube and you are going to see the referral link. Make sure you click on it and sign up. Then once you sign up, make sure you fund it. So what do you do? The very first thing you need to do is once you open your wallet, I will consider you have already logged in you need to come over here you see all so you click on wallet once you click on wallet you can see p2p now but before we click on p2p the very first thing you need to do is to first click on spot so you open your spot wallet once you open your spot wallet this is how it's going to look like so currently we are having uh, we are having twenty dollar worth of TRX. Then where does where is the remaining funds? The remaining funds is in our margin account. I hope you know this. All you just need to do is you need to transfer the money that is in the uh, uh, is in your margin account back to your spot by clicking on transfer you can see deposit withdraw transfer so you click after clicking on transfer you want to transfer from from cross margin to spot wallet then you need to choose the currency which currency is it usdt so after clicking choosing usdt you click on you click on max so maximum here is telling us uh, $4.2. So you click on confirm. This does not stop here. 
you still need to click on transfer again because we want to remove all the available fonts. So after clicking on transfer, you scroll down, make sure you check on the, you check if there is really phone available. Now let us check our USDT futures. Let us check the futures. Okay. Do we have any funds on futures? We don't have any funds on futures. So what do you do? Let's go and sell this TRX because this money is too small for us to execute a peer-to-peer -peer trading. So all you just need to do is to come over here, you click on trade. Either you click on market or you click on trade. Let's click on trade. Once, once you click on trade, you wait for it to load, you search for TRX in this search bar. So all you just need to do is to search for TRX because we are having TRX and we want to sell it. So you type in TRX. Once you search for TRX, choose USDT pay. Once it opens, the very first thing you need to do is to click on sell. The very first thing you need to do is to click on sell. Remember, we were using margin, we were using cross margin. So you need to make sure it is showing spot. Once you do that, you Let's put it on market because we don't have the time to set the market price. We don't have the time to say, hey man, when you reach at this level, buy or sell. So you click on market, you input. If you want to sell all your TRX, you click on 100%, then you click on sell. So it's automatically going to sell. For you to see that it has sold, you click on, History order. So you can see TRX sold today being the 9th of April. So once you're able to sell, all you just need to do is to come and back to your wallet. You click on wallet. Once you click on wallet, click on spot. Go back to sports. Once you go back to sports, the next thing you need to do is to click on transfer. Now, remember, our target of today is to use peer to peer. So all you just need to do is to click on transfer from sport to P2P. Inactive. Why is it showing inactive? It is showing inactive because we haven't yet done our KYC. So how do you go about it? For you to do your KYC, all you just need to do is to come here, you go back to wallet, then you come down and click on P2P. Once you click on P2P, you will be assigned to do some KYC. Now, how do you do some KYC here? For you to do your KYC, take for example, if you click, let's say if you choose buy USDT, you will see the grammar in which they are going to bring up. Now, see what they are telling us? For us to buy, for us to buy this coin, USDT, you can see the country. So it is up to you to set up the language in which you want to. The very first thing you need to do is to first of all come here, you choose the currency, select the currency. So we are in Nigeria, let's go for NGN. NG and you search for it. You search for NGN. 
there are all the currencies needed here. All right, NGN is not showing right now because we have not yet done KYC on this account. So let's just go for USD. Once you do your, uh, once you do your KYC, you will be able to choose your local currency. Now, what next? You want which of the payment do you want to be offering or to be accepting? You choose it here. If it is all the kinds of payment, you click on all payments. That is to say you can pay with any currency of your choice. But if you click bank transfer, that is to say you can only do bank transfer whenever you want to buy uh, uh, crypto or whenever you want to uh, sell your crypto. Now, the next thing you need to understand inside your margin, inside your pair to pair is the payment. So you need to set up your payment by clicking on pay, uh, by clicking on this payment settings. So on the P2P, you can see the payment method added will display on your uh, P2P option. All you just need to do is to click on add payment method. You see, you haven't completed your identification. So you need to do your KYC. This is what I'm talking about. After you are done with your KYC, you will now be able to successfully buy or sell crypto without having to contact anyone. Now I'm going to be using my account on this but before that i will need to log out this account and log in when if you click on verify you're going to see some basic things to do you can see basic info all you just need to do is to click on you can see personal details you click on verify this is the KYC is very important because if you don't do your KYC, trust you me, you can never buy crypto on P2P. You can never as well withdraw fiat currency to your local bank account. So all you just need to do is to click on start verification. We are sorry, but something went wrong. So this is network hops. 500. So let us log out this account and log in another account that is having KYC verification approved. So let's log out. Once you are done with logging out, let's log in. For you to log in, you just click on login. Now, this is another way of logging in. If you don't want to log in, your email address and your password. All you just need to do is to click on scan to login security. By clicking this, you will be able to log in without you having to enter all those details. So what am I gonna do? Let me scan this now and log in. I will need to pause my screen. Thank you. Guys, for you to open your uh, app on the system, all you just need to do is to click on login. Once you click on login, you click on scan uh, the QR code to log in. Then once you do that, all you just need to do is to your crypto wallet as well. Once you come to your once you come to your crypto wallet, yes, I'm not sharing my screen right away. So once you click on your mobile phone, you are going to see scan. 
So it is demonstrated in picture. Let me scan it right away. All right, I you authorize it. Once you authorize it, you'll be able to log in. So what do you do? All you just need to do is to wait for it to load. Once it loads, this is how it's going to look like. I can now share my screen with you guys. Okay. Let me share my screen with you guys so you can see what is going on here. All right. Once you're able to log in, this is how it's going to look like. So the very first thing you need to do is to click on transfer. Remember, you want to trade on P2P. So once you click on transfer, which is in your spot wallet, you choose transfer, you come down and then you choose P2P. Once you click choose, once you choose P2P, you need to come down and choose the currency in which you want to buy to sell is it which of the coin usdt if you want to sell usdt all you just need to do is to choose usdt then maximum transfer we are having 0 0.7 usdt in this account so you click on confirm. This account has passed uh, KYC. That is the reason why you see you can easily transfer. Then once you are done, the next thing you need to do is to come and click or choose. You, you click on wallet, you choose P2P. Now, once you choose P2P, this is how it's going to look like. So let us click on show balance. This is how it's going to look like. So what do you need to do? You want to trade, you want to, to sell your USDT. You can sell any currency of your choice. All you just need to do is to click on sell either you click on sell or you click on trade now if you click on trade now good and fine if you click on sell good and fine let us click on it so we want to sell usdt what do you need to do you come over here you choose the currency this is where you will see different currencies including nera because you have done your kyc so let's choose Nera. Then which type of payment do we want to accept? I would love to sell my coins and receive bank transfer. All I just need to do is to click here and choose bank. So you see, you can see the bank logo here. Once you choose bank, the people that wants to transfer bank to you, of, uh, that's fiat to you, you are going to see here bank. Now, the next thing you need to do is to come over here and click on more. Once you click on more, okay, sorry, if you click on more, it means you have different currencies you want to sell, but we are having USDT to sell because of that. All you just need to do is to scroll down. You can see Lady J. This person want to, wants to buy. So you are the one that wants to sell. And the maximum, the minimum limit the person wants to buy is 500,000 Naira, up to 27 million Naira. You can see this person is buying mover cash. The person is buying Nera at the rate of 493.80. And the minimum the person is buying is 3 million Nera up to 46 million Nera. So what do you need to do? You need to look for somebody that is, that is 
willing to buy your amount because if you come and click on take for example uh king david doubled 24 12 all you would see is let's click on it this minimum amount is 1 million up to 50 million that a person is buying so what do you need to do if you click on on a sell usdt remember we don't even have up to one dollar worth of usdt if you click on uh, this you want to sell now what is the quantity you want to sell all your usdt you put it this way you can see amount cannot be less than ten thousand dollars you see one two three four five six so the amount can't be less than one million dollars and one million naira. so that is to say for you to trade even you need at least a minimum of one million naira for you to trade with this person if not you won't be able to execute this trade so what do you do you need to go and look for for a buyer that have this price this uh, that have up to zero that will buy 0 0.7 uh, usdt then once you do that you choose your banking payment so which bank do you want to accept if you have not yet set up your your payment uh, acceptance you need to set it here so once you choose it you will automatically see sell now so we can't do that because we don't have enough funds here so what do we do we cancel the order now there is something i would love you to understand if you uh, don't see anybody that wants to buy your coins at your own price all you just need to do is to come over here you come over here on order so once you click on order you can see this is how the order page looks like you can be able to set up your own crypto sell page so what do you do here all you just need to do is all you just need to do is to come here you can see all orders all coins buy and sell statues so you come here on buy you come and click on order type if you want to sell you click on sell once you click on sell this is how the page is going to look like then now on the mobile you will have the option where you can statues statues it is showing all now if you if you are on a mobile you are going to see something like ad this ad means adverts where you can set up you say hey man i want to sell 0 0.7 dollar worth of crypto usdt and then i want to sell it at this price and as well uh i want to uh, accept bank payment or mobile top up it's up to you once you are done with that it's automatically going to show show like this understand this once it shows like this you are good to uh, you are good to uh uh execute your trade you just wait patiently anybody that wants to buy will contact you and you will sell and then please never you sell your never you if you are the one having crypto don't ever send your uh, uh, crypto to anybody that is to say don't confirm receipt when you have not seen your money inside your bank account be patient enough to 
see that the money reflects in your bank account before you click on confirm receipt. If you don't do that, you will fall victim and you don't want to fall victim inside Binance peer-to-peer uh, uh, -peer app. So please take note of this. And then another thing, if you are the one sending uh, the fiat, once you send fiat, if you are the one buying, remember this is sell page. I said on the sell page, don't approve the person until you see the money in your account. Then if you are buying, on the buy page, please be very careful. Make sure you don't ever... You can see this quantity. I wanted selling this amount of uh, crypto today, but uh, I was able to get some cash uh, in one of my portfolio or one of my cubicle. So that's why you see I canceled the transaction. So if you are the buyer, Whenever you send fiat to anybody, please try as much as possible not to cancel the transaction. Because if you cancel the transaction, trust you me, that money is gone. You have fallen into victim. So once you place an order, don't cancel the order. After making payment, rather click on transfer uh, transfer uh, funds once you click on transfer funds you upload your proof of payment then you are set to go if you do this as a buyer you will be on the safer side i know the question you are going to ask now is if you transfer your fiat to the person and the person doesn't approve you what is going to happen there is this uh, uh, Binance has been built in such a way that you will see appeal. After making payment, you see the time frame is going to show. If the time frame shows and take, for example, the person doesn't uh, uh, approve you within that period of time and the time elapses, all you just need to do is to give the person at least 30 minutes again because the person might be having some network challenge. And if the person don't approve you within that extra 30 minutes, you can click on appeal. All you just need to do is to click on appeal. Once you click on appeal, you will be able to... Uh, you will be able to uh, uh, upload your proof of payment there by telling the uh, Binance that, hey, man, I made payment and this is what I'm getting. So I made payment to, uh, uh, to this, this account and the person have not released my funds. Because once you click on sell, meaning that the money will automatically go into the inventory account. So if you click on sell, the money goes into the inventory account. And once the money goes into the inventory account, trust you me that even the buyer himself don't have any power over it again. So after uploading your proof of payment, just write to, the, to Binance. Within 24 hours, they are going to automatically release the funds from the inventory account to you. Then once they do that, uh, all you just need to do is to uh, have your funds and trade with it. And if you are a buyer, if you are the seller, what you just need to do, maybe somebody uploaded uh, the proof of payment and the person did not pay you. The person just went and uploaded a proof of payment and you did not see your money inside the account. You as the seller just need to click on appeal. You screenshot the charts which you did with that person. You upload it because uh, Binance is having, uh, Binance is having, uh, what do I call? 
they are having a chat box. So you screenshot it, you upload it, then from there, you can now contact, uh, you tell them that this person did not pay me and he uploaded his or her proof of payment. And uh, the, my time is going, I want to use the funds for something else. So Binance within 24 hours is going to release the funds that is inside inventory account to you. And that is how pair to pair work. I will need to do a short video on the mobile phone to upload on YouTube. Please, if there is any question here, you can ask. You can ask your question. Let me stop sharing the screen. Let me. All right, guys. If there is any question, you can ask. Thank you very much for uh, watching this video. Please like and subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are not yet part of the empire. See you in another episode.